Hey everyone, how's it going? So I got this panel here, matches the rest of my panels here, and this came from Amazon. Just dropped it off, and I am incredibly disappointed in the packaging. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, it looks as if someone else had it yep they sure did it looks like somebody else had this and then returned it because there's a bunch of different tracking numbers on here and you know i've got my tracking on here there it looks like it's been like twice look there's one here there's one there and then mine's in the middle and look at all these different numbers oh geez this this pisses me off so much i mean they literally it looks like they cut the end off i don't even know if the panel is good i guess we'll have to find out but yeah, this is uh, frustrating. So anyway, this panel here is going to go right there in that middle part there. And I'm uh, going to go ahead and get it up now. Alright, so the panel's out. And I don't see any problems. Scratches. There's some kind of a crap on here, but there's no permanent damage. I'm actually surprised that there's no damage. It's obvious that someone else had this panel. There's... A little bit of something going on right here, but that's probably because this side was exposed. The other side doesn't have that problem. Everything else seems to be fine, though. Um, it is a Grape Solar 100 watt panel. Uh, polycrystalline. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get it up there right now and hook it up and make sure it works okay. Alright guys, so I have the panel up. It's right there in the middle. And this is why you should always check to make sure everything's working fine. I'm probably gonna have to return this. And here's why. Here's a positive lead for this panel right here, okay? So this is the positive lead. And I'm reading 3.5 amps, okay? Here's the positive lead for the um, new panel that I just got, this lead right here, okay? Go ahead and get that around. Should be reading about 3.4. It's reading 2.4. Now, just to verify that there's not positional issues or whatever, uh, I'm going to go ahead and come to the furthest panel that I've got, 3.8. Let's go ahead and come down to this panel here, 3.7. Okay, so those two are fairly consistent. Let's go to the middle row here, which will be right here, 3.8, which is consistent with this row here, actually it's slightly less, but let's it's ballpark, all right? It doesn't have to be perfect, but this new panel here is putting out significantly less, about an amp less than the other ones. Let's try, Let's try the middle panel. I think I already did this. Middle panel, so it should be, you know, 3.9. It should be reading at the same, so it's not. It's obviously some faultiness. I have some time to return it, so I'm going to give it a couple of days, and then I'm going to return it if it still doesn't come up to par. So, yeah, that sucks. So, here I am, standing on my... Um, panel stand right now don't worry those are two by sixes and they're definitely not going to break under my weight between the two of them but anyways I was hoping <clears throat> that because this panel needed to be warmed up or heated up that it would actually improve over time so this is one of the original panels 4.1 amps and here's the new panel which is stuck at 2.7 amps, uh, 2.7, try the negatively, 2.9. So there's definitely something that is faulty here. Again, I'm going to give it a couple of days because I can return the panel and or exchange it, that is, for another one. That's not going to be a problem. I'm kind of wondering why this panel was, I wonder if maybe somebody else had it, returned it, and then, you know, had it knowing that it wasn't putting out what it was supposed to put out and then returned it. And I got it because it didn't have the original packaging. Um, so, 
yeah that's something that uh, I'm a little concerned about but again I'm gonna give it a, a little longer to see if it improves over time we'll have to see but it is really nice to see that second row finally filled up and mounted so I've got the potential for one kilowatt <laughs> unfortunately that doesn't seem to be the case right now with that middle panel but I'm gonna give it a couple days and see if it improves the Sun is almost at its high noon not quite it's still got about another hour before we'll be at high noon so I'm gonna come back out and check it at high noon and see if it's improved with the extra I mean even with the extra three amps that I'm putting out um, it's still making a difference but again I'm not gonna spend you know money on a panel that's not gonna put out what's a, what it's supposed to put out so I mean I don't doubt that there's you know faulty panels I mean that's just the way things are with manufacturing and so on I mean it happens it's not it's not anybody's real fault it's just an inconvenience to have to return it um, you know to get another one that's just unfortunately the way that it uh, works so so I've got my panels apart I took two apart just to use a reference and I use this as a reference and these diodes here that you see right here they're working fine and they match actually they match identical to these diodes here so it's not a diode issue it was um, recommended to me that I check the diodes so I did check the diodes across and they're working just fine um, I tried checking connections to see if possibly there was something going on with the connections this panel right here is putting out 21 volts this panel here is putting out 21 volts so they're identical in that respect um, I tried to look physically at the panel to see if there was any kind of damage um, I looked real close to see if there was any scratches of any kind that had found their way I didn't see anything so yeah um, so I'm gonna go ahead and return this panel just because it's just not working and I don't know why but what's uh, what I just figured out though or at least this is my theory is you notice that some of these boxes are all the same size yes yeah, some of them like that one's smaller that one's smaller that one's smaller that one's larger and this one's smaller um, it looks like how great solar does it is they've got kind of one box fits all and so based on the output of the panel or the total wattage or amperage you can see here that you can actually put more diodes in here and more connections so it's my guess is that sometimes if they run out of these they'll pop these in but you know again that's just a guess so anyway I went ahead and checked all the connections and it works just fine so I don't understand why the output is that much less than the rest I tried different grounding techniques to see if maybe there was something grounded wrong that's not the issue I honestly don't know what is going on with it but uh, yeah so it's right now it's not uh, putting out its full so I'm just gonna end up returning it sad but unfortunately that's just the way that it works so yeah alright guys well that was kinda disappointing getting a hold of this panel and but I'll go ahead and return it and uh, yeah, Let's see if we can get another one. So, all right, take care, guys.